New at 7, a Volusia County woman convicted of drowning a dog in an airport bathroom is back in handcuffs. Police say she had another dog, which is an apparent violation of her probation. New 6's Amanda Castro stopped by her home this afternoon to get their side of the story. Sir! Sir, you don't have to Go. do that. As soon as we pulled up to Cynthia Anderson's Edgewater home, her boyfriend, David Carr, started yelling at us, threatening us with a cement brick and threatening to shoot us. Get the out of my yard. Only after we told him we wanted to share both sides of the story, did he calm down and tell us what happened when Anderson was arrested again. This time for violating her probation. If I'd have known, I would have never went and gotten the dog. Carr claims he didn't know Anderson was convicted in 2015 of cruel neglect of an animal resulting in its death. Police say she was blocked from boarding a flight at a Nebraska airport because her Doberman puppy was too young to fly. Prosecutors say she drowned the dog in a bathroom toilet so she could fly home. She was placed on two years felony probation. Edgewater police arrested Anderson Tuesday and she faced a judge this afternoon. Police say they got an anonymous tip that there was a dog living in her home. Carr tells News 6 he adopted the dog he calls baby girl five days ago. He says he didn't know Anderson was on probation and that she couldn't live with or be around animals. She's a good person. I don't understand that. why. I don't know. No, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. And I'm it's just sad. It's just sad. For me, her, and that dog. In Volusia County, Amanda Castro, News 6. Anderson's probation was scheduled to end this July, but that could all change now that she's been charged with violating the terms of her release. The judge plans to hold an extradition hearing in a few days to determine whether or not Nebraska wants to bring her back there to face the violation.